summer clearance is here on a super center selection of Ram trucks. Crew cab starting at $20,988. And remember, I'll beat any competitor's price in Central Texas at the Nile Maxwell Super Center, 620 and 183. There are hundreds of research projects on stem cell therapies going on right now in Texas, some here in Austin, but you don't always hear much about them because of the ethical and political controversy that surrounds them. But a new group here in Austin wants to change that. It's called Med Rebels, and those involved hope to avoid the arguments by pushing adult stem cell research and therapies, not embryonic. They say adult stem cells can change lives by helping people heal themselves, not just in the future, but right now. After kicking and punching his way through 15 years of Krav Maga self-defense classes, instructor Pete Hardy's knees were shocked. Pretty much every morning uh, I would have to get up and I would stay on anywhere from 8 to 10 Moltron a day uh, to be able to function. Hairstylist Lizzie Horn stood on her feet through months of extreme hip pain, trying to keep her career going. And suffering through daily runs the active Austinite had enjoyed for years. For about a year I just had a lot of hip pain. And I do a lot of running, and full time I stand on my feet all day. So, with the running and standing on my feet, the pain pretty much got unbearable. Two people, two cases of chronic pain. Both were told surgery to replace their aching joints would likely be their only option, but they chose a more unlikely route adult stem cell therapy. What we're doing is we're kind of going to where they are stored, harvesting them, and then transferring them to where we think they're needed. Orthopedic surgeon Dr. Robert Johnson took Pete's own stem cells from bone marrow in his hip and put them back into his knee joints. The stem cells can reduce inflammation and pain and hopefully in the long term become the cartilage Pete is missing. Within three days I was pain free. I taught class the very next day, taught four classes the next day. Uh, so there was no uh, uh, downtime whatsoever. Pete, Lizzie, and Dr. Johnson are all part of a new nonprofit in Austin called Med Rebels. It's funded primarily by two medical companies. They say more people could stay active out here and possibly disease free if the medical community would just give adult stem cells a chance. I feel that this is a, a dam that's going to burst. I don't know when. I think it's sort of starting to trickle, but I think eventually this will be. The standard of care. There's just a handful of doctors in Central Texas doing adult stem cell procedures now. They're not approved by the FDA, and insurance companies don't cover the whole cost. But Lizzie and Pete hope with more research and more results like theirs, adult stem cell therapy will be the norm. Now I'm up to 40, 50 miles a week, no pain, and, and it's been great. It's been over a year, and, and I've had no issues. I can jump the way I used to jump, I can kick the way I used to kick. I can, I can move, I can spin, I can turn, I can do anything that 20 and 30 year old guys that I train can do. It, it's, it's remarkable. Researchers are not just looking at stem cells found in bone marrow now, but in body fat. Plastic surgeons here in Austin are using cells from body fat in reconstructive procedures. Other doctors and researchers we talk to are skeptical of MedRebel's motivation, and they say they should not be pushing treatments that have not been approved by the FDA. They say these procedures are still too new, and the long-term effects are simply unknown. We take a closer look at the benefits and the risks online at KXAN.com. Looking more in-depth at stem cell research going on right now here in Central Texas. There are several physicians involved in stem cell trials, including some at Austin Heart, Heart Hospital of Austin, and University Medical Center Brackenridge. Researchers at UT Austin are studying both adult and embryonic stem cells. Look for more details about specific research on a database run by the National Institutes of Health. We have a link to it with this story at KXAN.com.